February 14th is my sister's birthday. She had to spend that birthday huddled under a desk holding Lauren Hogg, David's sister, her hand, hoping that she was going to make it home that day. I've been amazed by what I've seen. I'm amazed that I cannot see the end of this crowd here in D.C. today. I've been amazed by all of the walkouts that have been taking place over the past five weeks. And these walkouts have been criticized. They've been told that it is a disruption to the educational process. And I say to them, the real disruption to the educational process is staring down the barrel of a gun. It's the fact that you can be taking a calculus exam, and then when you're doing that, you have in the back of your head the thought that where's the shooter going to enter? When's he going to come in? Where can I hide? We're done hiding. I want to bring in senior Ryan Deitch. He has a, a question uh, for Senator Rubio. Now, now I'd like to say, uh, Senator, uh, these drills, code reds, active shooters, they've been a part of my life for as long as I can remember. When I was in fifth grade, I had to hide in a bathroom for three hours and just waiting with my teacher and nearly 20 other kids to see that just because a shooter has come to our town, not even in the school itself, now seven years later, I'm in a closet with 19 other kids waiting fearing for my own life. Now I'd like to ask you, why do we have to march on Washington just to save innocent lives? I agree. You're right. You've lived through, and what you live through is not supposed to be a part of your high school experience. It's just not supposed to happen. We're done being afraid. We're done being full of fear because it is a waste of our time and it is not living out what our forefathers, what our founding fathers envisioned for this country. Life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness. And now I know we march today, but this isn't over. This is the beginning of the end and from here we fight. It is time to fight for our lives. And I say there is only one way to do that. We need to rev up society. We need to rev up the engines. We need to rev up America. And we do that through registering to vote. We need to do that through every single walkout. We will be making sure that you can register to vote, pre-register to vote. Then we will educate. We will be going around the country until these elections and therefore after until we can tell every man, woman and child in this country what is real, what is going on. And we need to make sure that everyone knows what is actually happening in their backyard and, in, and abroad. So we will register, we will educate and then when it comes down to it, we will vote.